Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. On this video, we will paint Leona's lower body from the Solar Eclipse skin. Without further ado, let's get to painting. Starting with the boots, we are going to paint the whole piece with iron hand steel. Once the steel has fully dried, we will shade the whole piece with known oil. Following the last step, we will go back to iron hand steel and make some highlights close to the edges. Finally, we will do edge highlighting with storm host silver. Let's move to the knee guards now. First, we will fully cover both pieces with iron hand steel. Once the steel has fully dried, we will cover the inner parts with a 1 to 1 mix of Screamer Pink and Abaddon Black. Any mistakes can be mended now or become highlights later. After we let the color dry, we will cover the pieces with Gnome Oil to give them a nice shade. To make highlights in the pink area, we will use Screamer Pink. Try to avoid painting too close to the edges. Using the belly of a brush and iron hand steel, we will overlay part of the metallic to give them highlights. Finally, like the boots, we will make edge highlights using Storm Host Silver. With the knee guards done, let's move to the main lower body. Starting with Black Templar, we will paint all but the armor. For the armor, we will use a mix of German Grey and Abaddon Black, roughly 1 to 1 mix. Then, we will use pure German Grey and make some highlights near the edges. Making a mid-tone of German Grey and Ashen Grey, 1 to 1, we will overlay the already made highlights on the arm. Lastly, using pure ashen grey, we will do edge highlights. Next comes the front skirt. Using a mix of Screamer Pink and Abaddon Black 1 to 1, we shall paint the whole piece. With the use of Rune Lord brush, we will paint the area near the edges. In order to give a bit of depth to the brass, we will shade it with Agrax Earth Shade. Once our shade has fully dried, we will make some edge highlights with Canop Tech Alloy. For the front armor, we will need the German Grey and Abaddon Black mix we have done earlier. 
Going to the back skirt, we will use the Screamer Pink and Abaddon Black mix we used earlier in order to cover the entire piece. We will cover the raised areas except the very bottom of the tail with the Rune Lord brass. The tail will be painted with iron hand steel. For the shades, use Agrax Earth Shade for the brass area and Gnome Oil for the steel. Using Canoptech Alloy, we shall highlight the brass areas. With iron hand steel, we will highlight the tail. As extra highlight on the tail, we will use storm host silver. Next up are the skirt sides. Starting with corn red, we will paint the topmost part. With a mix of Screamer Pink and Abaddon Black, we will paint the main body of the straps. For the raised area near the end of the straps, as well as the raised sides, we will use German Grey. The armor on the back of the piece will be painted with iron hand steel. We will shade the armor once again with known oil. Going back to the top of the part using Rune Lord Brass, we will paint the details that exist. After waiting a bit for the brass to dry, we will shade it with Akrax Earth Shade. Don't be afraid of shading the red close to the details. As we wait for the Akrax to dry, we will go back to the shaded metallic armor and do highlights with Iron Hand Steel. We shall now overlay the steel with storm host silver for extra highlights. Going back to the brush area, we will do highlights with Canoptech Alloy. The last two pieces are the hip armor, so we will start with iron hand steel and paint the outline. We will make a mix of Abaddon black and Screamer pink and paint the interior of the hip armor. We need to be careful not to paint on the outline or the walls. Once the dark pink has dried, we will shade the entire piece with no oil and then give it a bit of time to dry. We will proceed to open the collar in the middle with one layer of Screamer Pink. Paint most of the area while leaving the dark collar near the walls of the outline. Staying with Screamer Pink, we will do another layer, but this time we will cover less area close to the center.
Finally, we will do a one-to-one -one mix of Kislev Flash and Screamer Pink and paint again close to the center, covering even less area. Being careful not to paint over the rest, we will do edge highlights to the outline with Iron Hand Steel. Finally, we will layer some of the edges with Stormhost Silver. This is the assembled piece that we have been working so hard to make a reality. All colors used in this video are on your screen now. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Or if you didn't like it and reached this part, leave a comment explaining what can be improved. This was Miniature Ursus, thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.